Hello, welcome to Tricky Eyes. I hope you'll be fine. Today you will learn one simple trick due to which you will be able to prepare cue card within one minute. Most students face problem and unable to speak fluently in IELTS speaking part 2. In this video you will get the solution of your problem. If you practice for 10 days like this, speaking module will not create problems for you anymore. Stay here and watch till the end where I'll share sample answer. First, I'll teach you that whenever you are dealing cue card, what you have to do. For example, I got a question. Describe a major decision you have taken in your life. Describe a major decision you have taken in your life. You should say what the decision was, what other choices were available to you, and why you made the decision you did. So now I got three questions. First and foremost, what you have to do, you have to means observe the tense, means in which one tense the cue card is given. So means the first question, describe a major decision you have taken. So now present perfect tense is there. And in the rest three questions, what the decision was, and what other choices were available to you, and why you made the decision you did. So now past tense is there. Now what you have to do, you have to target these three words. You have to target these three words, mean the first three words. What, again what, and then why. And whenever you have pen and paper, you have to mean just write these three words and you have to write mean the short form like this that I mean the first question is asking that what the decision was what other choices were available to you and why you made the decision you did so you can write like this I mean the first question uh, which you have decided me me the first question is asking uh, asking that what was the decision so me you can simply write like this that uh, to study abroad you can write your own decision me that time according to the questions you have to write me whatever you want to write you can. So means I have just written like this in short that me study. I, I cannot write complete sentences because one minute isn't that much that you can write complete sentences. You should just write in short that I have written like this that to study abroad. Means for the second question means uh, what other choices. Means I have just uh, written that in short what other choices. Means I had choices like that that to study well uh, in my own country means is to, to study in well known universities in my uh, home country and uh, to start business means I have another opportunity that time to start uh, business or to help my family members in my business. So two, three choices you can mention but I have written here in short. And the third one means asking the reason that uh, why means you have made that decision. So the decision you can share uh, your own ideas but I have shared here that to explore new country and to get higher education. So means these are the two uh, means possible reasons but I have written here in short. So these are the three questions means uh, which I'm going to answer but keep in mind as I mentioned earlier that you have to observe tense of the question. So mean, uh, I can answer this question in two tenses like present perfect and past tense because the first question was in uh, present perfect and this uh, means the rest of uh, means in past tense. So means uh, tense I can use uh, present perfect and past. So whenever you get question, you have to observe tense and then you have to write mean the first word up, uh, mean the three questions which uh, you get mean almost in every cue card and uh, mean then write the reason uh, in front of those uh, WH words or those first words mean the question words you can ask. Uh, you can write means the reason or you can write the answers in short means you can write one or two words not more than that because you will not uh, get uh, that much time. So whenever you will write the first word and means uh, the reason which you are going to explain which are you going to talk so means you can write in front of that word then what you will have to do mean in the second uh, means uh, point which you are going uh, which I'm going to share with you that you will have to write at least five words means relevant to the topic means you have to write at least five words relevant to the topic like this that uh, according to me that essential word I can use in this rewarding uh, challenging embrace and optimally mean these are the five words which I can use in this Q card. So you have to learn various words relevant to Q card and you have to write at least five words because whenever you will start speaking uh, mostly students they get nervous and they are unable to use uh, words. So if you just write like this means on the paper so then you will be able to use these words uh, whenever you will start speaking. So write at least five uh, words. 
it will cost you maximum uh, 50 to 55 seconds if you just practice on daily basis for 10 or uh, means 15 minutes on daily basis mean the same way which i'm going to share with you and if you practice for at least uh, 20 or 25 cue cards you will be able to speak uh, means more than fluently and you will be able to convince the examiner i will uh, share me uh, the sample answer as well but keep in mind when you will just write uh, me the points in, in front of me the questions and means for example you got uh, questions and the question is asking something and you have uh, written one one two two or three three words for that then at the last you should write uh, at least five words after writing five words if you still have time means for example if you have two three five or ten seconds you can write uh, one or two praises if you are able to write one or two praises, uh, it will help you to score higher in IELTS speaking module. Whenever you write all these things and you start speaking, so means you have to means observe uh, the page on which you have written uh, means whatever uh, you wrote that according to mean the topic. So what you will have to do, then you have to present that in a fluent manner. For example, I am going to share the sample answers that how you can answer like this. That there are many substantive decisions which I have made in the near past. But the one which is more than essential for me is to study abroad, due to which I am talking. I'm taking IELTS. My relative and family members failed to embrace this opportunity before because they love business and even want me to join this department optimally, as soon as possible, where my future compel me to explore the world for the sake of higher study. It is proven that to run and maintain good business, individual should be well qualified. Therefore, I decided to take admission in business relevant field in a well-known university. This competitive and fast-moving sector required a considerable amount of work and study, due to which I decided to go to abroad for further education. I am over the moon with my decision because I will be able to study among professional people who will inject confidence and new ideas into my mind, which will enable me to face challenges and run my business in a rewarding way. So this was a sample answer which I have shared with you. I hope you enjoy this video. It's your duty to practice on this way if you are interested to get higher band. If you have questions, you can ask in the comment box. Thank you for watching.